Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Intro Like. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a great day. Well, today is Saturday, the 8th of April, 2023. Um, in the Catholic Church, we call this Holy Saturday. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, yeah, it it looks like here it's going to it's it's going to be getting warm, 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 warm. Even next week it's supposed to get up to like plus sixteen. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, yes, yes. So, all right, here I am working on Lady in the Woods, and um. This is a custom design I got made years ago. Okay, so right now I'm right up here. Um, so this is upside down, okay? So this is, this is her headpiece, like right here. This is her face. So, we're going to continue working here. So, uh, yeah. And after I finish working on using this color 300, I am going to put this one away and I am going to get out Father Christmas. And for those of you who have followed my channel since the beginning, you will remember that it was two years ago, almost, well, almost two years ago, that I started Father Christmas. But I have not worked on it for quite a while. So I'm going to... Um, work on that and um, yeah that'll that'll be kind of nice I'm I'm looking forward to that so and then I'm going to go and make my I think I'm going to make zucchini applesauce loaf. And I'll, I'll, I'll see. I think I have enough applesauce, but we shall see. So, um, if not, I might do it as zucchini banana loaf because I have bananas. Oh, it's a good way to use up your older bananas. And, uh, yep. Yeah. So, I'm looking forward to that. Right now, the zucchini is draining. Because if you know and understand zucchini that it has a lot of moisture in there. So, and especially when you freeze it, a lot of that moisture comes out. So I am going to, I've, I've got it draining right now. So, Yep. That'll be good. At our Stations of the Cross yesterday, there was four of us. So, not a lot, but it doesn't matter. 
Doesn't matter. Julia and I, this morning, we were trying to figure out who all is, um, should be here tomorrow. And there won't be as many. Because a lot of people have gone to family. And uh, one lady there, she she works alternate weekends, so she was here for Palm Sunday. And now she won't be here for Easter Sunday. So, but a lot of people have gone to family and, and that, so... Yep. I haven't looked to see what's on Amazon Prime there today, if there's anything interesting. Just been watching YouTube. Oh, and that darn bee, uh, Bill C11 here in Canada was passed. And it now gives the government the ability to, if what they deem that you are saying is hate speech, or it's like, say, during the truckers' pro protest last year. They can shut you down and they can fine you up to $25,000 if convicted. And that is total 100% censor censorship. And... If you think it's just here, it's not. It is coming to a country near you. Because it's basically we are the we are the um guinea pig, if you will. And countries will be seeing how it works here. And then it will um, and they could very well bring that to your country. So don't think that you're immune from it because you're not. So that means that if you speak out against something, say, like transgenderism, right? Against the trans community, anything. Even if you state that biologically a man cannot become a woman and a woman cannot be can't become a man. You just can't. You can be censored. And you can be um, fined. And, um, and, that, and that is so totally wrong. This world has gone to hell in a handbasket. And all it's doing is getting worse. Worse. So. So it's it's the tail wagging the dog, right? And if some of you remember your high school days, like I know. If, for us, we had to read George Orwell's uh, 1984 
and Animal Farm. Do I remember a lot about it? Nope. But we had to read it. And that is what is happening in this world. Now it may be whatever it is there 50 years later I guess 50 years 40 years yeah 40 years later but it really is coming to fruition which is a sad commentary on our societies. Like, we may even be censored to the point where, like I'm watching Tucker, Tucker Carlson, and it might be that Canada bans that, that we can't watch that. And that is just so wrong. That is just so, so, so wrong. You've got the minority who has taken control of the country. And it's basically the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. We need, to, we need to be taking our countries back. I don't know. Maybe, maybe some of you disagree with that. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I know, like, they... They like to call people like me transphobic. Or homophobic. I don't have anything against you personally. It's, no. You want to be your way? That's fine. If you want to live in, uh, like with the trans community, you want to live in your denial and um, your fantasy, go right ahead. But don't tick dictate to the rest of us what we can and cannot believe. It's like Tucker was saying there this morning that, you know, there are becoming less and less and less Christian communities, you know, and more and more uh, that they are what what's he call it? The religion of transism. You know, it's a sorry, sorry, sorry state. You know, and a lot of people there they say, Oh well, you know, it's freedom of speech. Well, what about my freedom of speech? You know, like, they seem to forget that. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I'm just going to stitch on Lady in the Woods here. And I'm, I'm enjoying this. And I don't think there's very many blocks of this color left. So, um, Juliet and I, we were talking about gardening. And uh, she had already planted her cucumbers. And she's got seedlings. 
and so she had to transplant them. Now I had I haven't even started. And last year I had bought a one of these plastic kitty pool, you know, the round ones. And I am going to put it up on um, pallets to raise it up. And then I'm going to fill it with dirt. And I'm going to put... I think I'm going to grow like cucumbers and maybe zucchini and and um, maybe a spaghetti squash in there. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm just, I'm, I am so looking forward to the nice hot weather that's coming our way here. Today, even, it's supposed to get up to like five or six degrees. So we should have a lot of melting going on today. And then tomorrow, I think it's up to 9 or 10. And, and then it's um, and then it's just getting warmer as the week's progressing. Looking forward to seeing how my flower bed made out. Like, is it, um, did it, did all my plants survive? I'm hoping that they did. And I'm hoping this year that I get some irises and, um, daylilies and, and that. So that'll be nice. And I'm kind of hoping maybe we can expand my flower bed a little bit more. So. Yeah. I did not do that one. That one. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to having my door open and all that bright sunshine coming in. I still have the um, curtain closed here on the east side of the house because, for one thing, it comes across on the TV and I can't, I can't see the TV. So, Last night there, Lily Bell was up at, I don't know, 3.20. And uh, so I got up and put her outside. She's been having a lot of poops lately. So, 
I'm not sure what's going on there. Kind of gave her a little bit of rice there today. To hopefully just kind of bulk it up some. So then I, I went back to bed and uh, I think I fell asleep about four and I slept until Sydney got me up. He was all over me again. Wanted me up. I mean, he's got his food, so I don't know what the problem is. And no, no mouse. He just wanted me up. So. So anyway, yeah. So I slept until quarter to seven. Probably would have slept until 7.30. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, so this is looking pretty darn good. So I will put this away for a little while. But, uh, yeah, I think that Father Christmas is the one that I'm going to work on next for a little while. A couple of weeks anyways. And then I have another one now that's just started calling me <laughs> so I uh, yeah oh yesterday I found out that Laura's fur baby and companion Molly passed away oh, Laura if you're watching this I'm so sorry sweetie I'm so very sorry I know what it's like to lose a companion. It's not easy. And um, just take it one day at a time. Allow yourself to grieve. And, um, and don't let anyone tell you that it's time to get over it. Um, now, what I did was, like, I knew when Hannah was going to pass away. And I, I knew this, you know, several weeks before. I already was on the lookout for a cat. And that's how I come and got Jonah. So as soon as um as soon as uh Hannah passed I got Jonah and uh cuz I I know with especially when you have more than one fur baby, they will miss the one that is no longer there. They will absolutely, they, they will grieve something fierce. Absolutely. It's just, and that is horrible to watch. That is absolutely horrible to watch. So. 
So Yeah, so, uh, but I mean, each person grieves their fur baby differently. Okay, so that's where I'm at. And then I'm going to continue working down here. And I'm not sure... Yeah, and I have a little bit in here to do. A few here and here. I haven't got much left. I don't know. I forgot a few here. Yeah, I don't have much left. So, I could get all this using this 300 finished today but we'll see now please remember that tomorrow i won't be doing a live it's just going to be a regular video and then the next sunday so a week tomorrow i will go, go back to my live so i will do that so um yeah so, uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, help my channel grow. Tell others about me. I welcome any crafters, as long as it hurts no one. And, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's wonderful when I read your comments and where you live and what you're working on and how you found me and all that. So, yeah. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you and so do I. And so does Lily Bell. Jonah's up in the cat condo. Sydney's over here in the bed. Everybody's quiet. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for dying on the cross for me so that my sins may be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. So may you have a blessed Saturday. We will see you here tomorrow morning. Um... Easter Sunday, and um, if you've got company or whatever, enjoy being with your families. It's always nice to have that. I don't have the luxury of that, but uh, yeah. So, uh, but anyways, enjoy that. So, all right, everyone, I guess that's it. So maybe tomorrow you will see that I'm finished this. And I will have um, Father Christmas out. So we shall see. All right, everybody. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. God willing, of course. Toodles, everybody.